President Trump got elected to office on an agenda to put America first in everything he does. Now he's making good on that promise as well. And it's all because Trump just exposed a major act of hypocrisy that reeks of treason from the Washington elite. President Trump was not the first pick of the establishment when he ran for president in 2016, and he ultimately won in spite of their bitter opposition. But since taking office, much of the business and political elite that dominated America before the president was elected have remained some of his most bitter enemies, and one of the leading groups that continues to challenge Trump is the Chamber of Commerce, a supposedly pro-business organization that has routinely been in the pocket of the Republican political establishment. But President Trump is now taking on the chamber like never before. Breitbart reports, President Donald Trump ripped the Chamber of Commerce on Monday for failing to support his use of tariffs as a negotiating tool, threatening to leave the organization. The president called CNBC after Myron Brilliant, the head of international affairs at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, warned on CNBC that Trump's tariff threats would hurt trade with the United States. The president didn't hold back in his strong rebuke of the chamber's policies as well, nor their opposition to his agenda. I'm a member of the U.S. chamber, maybe I'll have to rethink that because when you look at it, the chamber is probably more for the companies and the people that are members than they are for our country. Trump said, the chamber seems to care more about their companies than they do the United States of America, and it shows from their endless complaints about President Trump's policies even though they have brought about massive economic growth and prosperity for the country as a whole. Trump cited the $800 billion trading deficit with foreign countries as a problem, reasserting his goal of keeping more jobs and opportunities in the United States, adds Breitbart. The Chamber of Commerce, he said, had opposed his proposed policies for years, warning them that they were making a big mistake by opposing his use of tariffs with the chamber continuing to oppose him and oppose the betterment of the United States in favor of their own interests. It's little surprise that Trump is contemplating leaving the chamber. After all, the chamber bitterly opposed him in 2016 and likely will oppose him again as he runs for re-election in 2020. Trump himself stated as much, Frankly, I've never had support from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce because they know where I stand on these things. I don't need money. I don't care about these things. The only thing I care about is our country, Trump said.